Today's liturgy, we have lessons about faith, great faith and great hope and great desires, and how God rewards us or punishes us, rewards us according to our faith, punishes us according to our lack of faith. Right? We see Jesus responding to this Canaanite woman. Notice she's not a member of the people of God. And he says, a woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. We read similar words in today's first reading, where the Lord says, I will do to you just what I have heard you say. Right? You're going to get what you ask for. Today's first reading begins by saying that the Lord said to Moses, send men to reconnoiter the land of Canaan. Now, Deuteronomy chapter 1 explains that that was not God's original plan. Okay? That wasn't his idea. He brought them out of Egypt. They came down to Mount Horeb, Mount Sinai. So they've been out there about three months at this point. Deuteronomy chapter 1 explains that God then wanted to bring them into the promised land. He said, go up, go there, take the land. And it was the people who said, let's send explorers. Okay? They didn't have faith. They didn't have trust, notwithstanding all of the miracles that they saw. And so then Moses consulted the Lord, and the Lord then granted it, commanded it, send the explorers. And the explorers themselves, what a great disappointment to God. Ten out of twelve come back and say, we can't do it. It's only Joshua and Caleb who have faith. What does Caleb say? He says, we ought to go up and seize the land, for we can certainly do so. Because he has faith, he has trust in the power of God. The others, they lack faith. They say, we cannot attack these people. They're too strong for us. They're not too strong for God. And so they spread bad reports. The people begin to lament the whole community with loud cries and all the rest. And God says, I will do to you just what I have heard you say. And so it's instead of going up and entering into the promised land, now they've got to wait 40 years, and actually none of them will enter in. Okay, these people, they wanted to go back to Egypt and die there. And so he says, here in the desert shall your dead bodies fall. None of them will enter into the promised land. Only Caleb and Joshua. Now think about the great patience of Caleb and Joshua that they had to have. Because now, through no fault of their own, they've got to wait 40 years. They've got to travel with these unfaithful people. Now we have today the example of St. John Vianney, man of faith, great hope in the power of God. What does he do when he gets to this parish that has no faith, right? The people are very worldly. He kneels. He prays the rosary. He fasts. And because of his faith, it was given to him, right? Because of his hope and the power of God and his grace, the people were converted. So same thing in our lives. We need to learn from these examples, the positive example of the Canaanite woman, the negative example of the faithless people of God. And we need to convert and put into practice uh, in our own lives the faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.